Hello everyone! How are you? I hope that you are all well. Today, I'm going to show you how I fertilize my orchids in semi-hydro setup. These cattleyas are in self-watering pots. And I also have here my only catacetum. I showed you this in my first video where I put this in dormancy and now it's already growing leaves and roots and I have already watered this. And the three dendrobiums are in semi-hydro with lava rocks. The two phalaenopsis here, I have a video where I repotted this in self-watering pots and charcoal. And this is my phalaenopsis twarchana with blasted flower spikes sayang and here are my other phalaenopsis in self-watering pots this one i also have a video the diy self-watering pot and the flower spikes turned into keikis and they are now growing long roots this is my phalaenopsis with fan lip and this is my Phalaenopsis Schilleriana. There's something bad going on with my Phalaenopsis and I don't know why. Um, the previous new root of my Phalaenopsis, this one is the newest root, but the older roots um, dried and died. I think it's because when I sprayed them with pesticide, the roots burned and died but thankfully they are already growing new roots and i hope that they will continue to grow but until now i'm still finding out what's the real cause of the dying of the roots and if you have some experience with this i hope that you'll share it with me the roots in the inside of the pot are okay there are some roots that have died but um they are growing don't think that it's because of my water or fertilizer in the pot because the roots in the inside of the pot are okay and healthy. Only the roots which were exposed when I sprayed them with pesticides died but I am still not sure about that. And here's my Oncidium Shari Baby which I showed you in my other video the roots have died but there are already new roots here and i didn't even know that the pot is already empty and dry this one drinks a lot and here are my newest files i showed you this in my december video when we came here and they were in sphagnum moss. I repotted them um, also in December in the self-watering pots. And they are already growing roots and leaves. And they have already adapted well to the setup compared with the two fowls in charcoal. I will show you what I did to them that helps later. And I have one which I planted in cola self-watering pot with charcoal to see if cheap semi-hydro will work but the leaves are still limpy but I see here a tiny new leaf. I don't know if you can already see it but there's one new leaf there. And here are my other files in small and cheap self-watering pots that i got from shopee and look at that root it was just picking out when i repotted this after one week i have a video when i repotted them and these little files were damaged during earthquake when we were not around in our house thankfully i think that they are already recovering the first thing I do when I fertilize my orchids in self-watering pots or semi-hydro setup is to soak them or wash them with water first. And then I'll just dump the water in the bucket and then I'll reuse that water to water our Bermuda grass. 
I'm really surprised of the roots here. I didn't expect this. And then I'll just put this back and I will do this with my other orchids. I will show you the easier and faster way on how I wash my orchids in self-watering pots. But I'd like to show you the roots first. Look at that. There are lots of dead roots. Um, thankfully, there are already new roots. But on the inside, they are all healthy. So here's the easier and faster way. I'll just pour water in it and let the water drain in the bucket. And then after it drains, I'll just return this to the pot. For other orchids in semi-hydro, I do it like this. I just pour water up to the line and let it drain. I will also tilt the pot so that the water at the bottom will also come out. I will now mix my fertilizer. I will still use aggressive feeding but I'll dilute it to 25%. But this time, I won't be using powdered milk. I will use 50% of the ingredients. This one is the 2020 fertilizer. It is one half teaspoon because I will be using two gallons of water. So that will make 25% of the solution. Please check my other video if you haven't watched that yet. Here's my two gallons of water. I'll pour this out and I'll mix it. Now, I will pour fertilizer solution in the reservoir. I just make sure that the water will not touch the bottom of the inside pot. And I am done. These already have fertilizers in them and this will last for 3 weeks. After three weeks, I will refill them with fertilizer solution again or just water. For the catacetum, I did not fertilize it yet. I just washed it with water. And the cattleyas have already fertilizer solutions in them also. And here are the mini falls in cheap self-watering pots. And look at that root. It's swimming in the water. And this is what I did with my newest files. I placed them in the tray and I placed some charcoal and water in it. I think it helped in increasing the humidity because the weather here is hotter than in my sister's place. It is so windy and dry here. And before the leaves were so thin and limpy and now you can see that they are already healthy. We left them here with the Cattleya seedlings after New Year and then we just visited every two weeks to water them. Thanks to Semi-Hydro, they survived. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Maraming salamat. Paalam. See you in my next videos.